November 9th, 2020 on your own. All right, using the butterfly method, are 21 to 6 and 7 to 2 equivalents? Yes or no? All right, so we have our butterfly method here. We have 21 to 6 and 7 to 2, uh, or 21 divided by 6 and 7 divided by 2. So we're going to use our butterfly method here. So what we're going to take a look at is, uh, first of all, we can do 7 times 6, which I know is 42. So I'm going to type over here. I know that's 42, 7 times 6. I'll also color code 7 times 6. It's going to be 42. Um, now we have 21 and 2. What do we do with those numbers? We multiply them. Um, I'm trying to find a good color there. Yeah, okay. Um, 21 times 2 is going... Ooh, too light of a color. 21 times 2 is going to be 42. Are these two numbers the same, 42 and 42? Yes, they are. So that means that these, equi these ratios are equivalent or equal. So our answer is yes here. All right, let's take a look over here. Write two equivalent ratios for each ratio given. All right, so two equivalent ratios. We know how to do this. We can either multiply or divide both the numerator and denominator um, by the same number. And remember, what you do to the top, you must do to the bottom. So in this case, hmm, I'm going to divide for here. I'm going to divide 8 and 12. I know that 4 can go into both of those. So I'm going to divide both by 4. You can do by 2 if you want. That's fine. Um, but I'm going to do by 4 by a little bigger number. So 8 divided by 4 I know is 2. And 12 divided by 4 is 3. So 8 twelfths is the same at, or equivalent as 2 thirds. Hmm, now I'm going to multiply. You can divide again. Uh, actually, I'm going to divide over here now. I'm going to divide both numerator and denominator. You can multiply if you want. But I also know that I can divide both numerator and denominator by a 2. So if I do 8 divided by 2, I know that's 4. And then 12 divided by 2, I know that's 6. So 4 6 is also an equivalent ratio to 8 12, which is also equivalent to 2 thirds. So all three of these fractions or ratios here are equal. They're equivalent. They're the same. Let's take a look down here. 4 eighths. I am going to, hmm, let's multiply. So I'm going to do, well, yeah, I'm going to do 4 and 8 uh, times 2. So 4 times 2 and 8 times 2. Remember what you do to the top, you must do to the bottom. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. <gasps> 4 eighths is equivalent to 8 sixteenths. Now over here, you can multiply again or you can divide, whatever you want to do. Um, I'll do multiply again. Sure, why not? Let's, let's go with that. Um, th this is just one example. There's many different ways, so you do not have to do these examples that I'm doing. Um, so let's do, hmm, let's do times 3. Do, do, do. All right, so 4 times 3 I know is 12. And then 8 times 3 is 24. So there's an equivalent ratio. So 12 to 24, 4 to 8, and 8 to 16 are all equivalent ratios. They all equal the same thing. That's it for the On Your Own. Great job. If you have any questions, please let me know.